Good morning. So today I am going to read um, a part of a scene that I recently wrote um, for Miss Karen Hopkins for her friend G. Um, the name of the piece right now or the evolving play is It's a G Thing. Um, I just like that title. Her name is G. It's a G thing. I thought that was cute. Um, it's evolving, so it will change over time as I know more about her character and her story. But with no further ado, let's get right into it. Um, so just to kind of set the scene up for you, there's two women on stage and they are having a conversation at each other. Neither one is really talking to each other. They're both talking at each other. Um, and the two women on stage are our heroine or our protagonist G and um Patricia who is like a naysayer so we'll get into that anyway so let's start it out <clears throat> and also the narrator is speaking so I will be doing all three parts Patricia the narrator and G so <sighs> okay you think you're so damn good at Everything. G rolls her eyes, thinks to herself, here we go with this shit again. Patricia, like God made you not to fail. Like you got wings or something. G thinks to herself, like she doesn't know I second guess everything. Always, always, always asking, is this good enough? Will it make them happy? How will other people like it? Will will this become world-renowned? Never did much of anything for me, for whether I would like it. <sighs> they have made me so tired. Was it I that made me this sleepy? Sleep to how I feel. Sometimes it's really hard to distinguish my voice from others. Like, I know how they feel. I know what they think. But what do I feel and how do I think? I'm no expert on my own emotions. <sighs> Again, to express is to let go. Well, this play is me letting go of a lot of shit. Pain. Feelings. Fear. Memory. So that I may stop visiting the past and all the ghosts that haunt there. You young girl, what the hell you got to worry about or even know enough about worth having all these folks come out here tonight? Look at them. They all came here to see you. G laughs and shakes her tender lock hair she'd always felt so ashamed of for its beauty like a gift she could hold but never unwrap for g was a creole woman like whispers from a can't for g was a creole woman like whispers from a quaint age her dna held the stories of the proud people who embodied twin worlds african and french African and French held superfused in a society of selection brown paper bags held ready passports to vacations free from the weight that blackness bears straight combs freed the crown of any kinks yet the culture the skill the music the reality of the times, a Creole woman with pain in her pretty eyes and shame beneath her smooth skin. 
G was more than her pain, more than her Catholic parents' orthodox visions of her future could perceive. G was given the spirit of a dancer. Steadfast, she was driven to achieve an altogether master the routines that surrounded her. Yet with all the regiment and precise direction, she fell easily into step with the flow and the sway of the rhythms of life. And so that's just the beginning, just a little teaser. Hope you like it. Much more to come. It's a beautiful journey. We have begun.